Welcome back to another episode of Local Search Tuesdays. This week, I've got some awesome tips to share with you from some of the experts and vendors at the National Auto Dealers Association conference a few weeks ago. Search Lab was in Dallas at the end of January for the 2023 NADA convention. And once again, I went around and collected helpful tips from vendors and experts. We've got some awesome tips this year, so let's get right to them. A lot of conversation at NADA about returning back to the basics. I would challenge that and say, how do we return to something we never adopted to begin with? There's an emphasis here on the basics being making sure tracking is set up properly on your website and on your digital properties, making sure that you as the dealer have full control over those properties and that it's not delegated to you from some proprietary technology. So my tip is over your morning cup of coffee, audit all of your properties, see who is doing what for you and make sure that you have total control and access and actually get back to the basics. All right, so it's going to be a really big theme this year, I think, and last year too, that people will tell you that uh, forms are dead. Um, and it's really sexy to say that uh, take all the forms off your website. But I hate to tell you, uh, forms, we are living through the golden age of form completion. People are more willing to give up their information than ever before. So don't be afraid of forms on your websites. Customers want to engage. Just make sure that you have the best tools to do that uh, on your website. Best tips. When looking across the industry right now, there's a whole lot of pressures that we're facing as dealers. And obviously, we expect starter increase this year, but we expect a significant decrease in gross, right? That's gonna put a lot of margin pressure inside of the dealership because we're not gonna have the margin that we're used to. And that's gonna affect all of our employees and turnover. We're also gonna have interest rates climbing. All of this comes down to, a, as we're all talking, a back to the basics scenario. When I think about 2023 and, and my dealership and the dealerships that I work with, it's, it's a message of accountability. It's, it's leaning into the vendor partners and technology partners with the solutions that we know that can deliver the results. And it's about back to the basics of process inside of the dealerships. A lot of our employees, they're stumbling. It's been so easy to be successful and to make money, but we don't have to reinvent the game. We know how to make phone calls. We know how to treat customers. And it doesn't sound is exciting from an innovation perspective, coming from a guy that loves to spend my time looking at what's the newest, latest, and greatest technology. But if I'm looking at the area of the greatest return, it's gonna be about doing the little things a lot of times on my showroom that creates that accountability and motivation so that I can build the team, that I can execute on the things that I know work to sell cars and make money in my dealership. All right. If you're not building your own first party data to battle the cookie apocalypse and take control of your advertising, you're already behind. All right, here is my tip. Uh, we're at NADA and a lot of people are looking for the new widget, the new technology, but they're looking at it from the wrong end. They're looking for a piece of technology to force into their process versus going backwards. Understanding how you want your customer to feel. What does your team have to do to make them feel that way? And then let's go find the technology that makes that job easier versus the other way around. So audit your tech stack to see if your company is using it. it does it actually help your process? And more importantly, when was the last time you actually used that technology yourself? When was the last time you tried to buy a car on your website? You will be surprised how possibly you're putting more obstacles in between you and your customer and you think you're making it easier. So let's go audit what you're doing. So here's my pro tip for you. Make sure you sort your contracts from your different vendors and partners so that you can make sure that they are actively executing on what you're paying them for every single day. And please, focus on the basics before you go spending a ton of money on extra shit. <laughs> Throughout the conference hall, there's a lot of people showing digital retail software. The one thing I urge you to do is don't believe digital software is just a solution that exists on your website. And it doesn't just exist on mobile. Digital retail is a process. It has to be a process throughout your store. It has to be a tool to escalate customers closer through the path, path to purchase to an actual signature. It can't just exist online. So make sure digital retail is a process in your store and you'll be more successful with more virtual deals than before. Okay, Paul de Vries here. Uh, 
eigenlijk een tip voor alle Nederlandse dealers, voor alle Europese dealers of eigenlijk alle internationale dealers. Kijk niet naar de NIDA om te zien wat de laatste zilveren bullet is. Want die zijn ook hier niet. Het gaat erom dat je de basics goed doet. Maar dat je daadwerkelijk ook gewoon probeert om die ene zin eruit te halen. Om te kijken wat is voor jouw dealer, voor jouw dealerschap nou eigenlijk de belangrijkste tip om de volgende stap te kunnen maken. Dus kijk niet voor de zilveren bullet. Maar kijk voor die ene zin die je naar de next level kan brengen. Hey, what up, Greg? So, um, something that's been coming up a lot for me lately from salespeople that we're working with is customers coming in that are wanting to pay cash for vehicles because interest rates are higher right now. And one of the things that I think we should take into consideration is that when interest rates are high, they're not only high on the money that you're borrowing for a car, those interest rates are also high on things that you can do with your money. So one of the things that I'm seeing top salespeople do that I think is really mind blowing is helping customers to realize that keeping the $50,000 they were gonna take out of their you know, money market account or their CD or their you know, treasury bonds that are paying 4.8% right now, to go uh, pay cash for this vehicle actually ends up costing you money in the long run. So one of the things that you can do if a customer is wanting to pay cash for a vehicle is actually go to bank rate, use their calculator, figure out what the APR is gonna cost total, and then what that same APY would be in a savings account at the interest rate that's currently available. And so one of the things that you can do to customers have a real conversation about smarter ways to spend that money that might actually help save them money in the long run. And if you're not educating yourself on that information, you're actually giving up opportunities to win more car deals. So uh, that's my tip, and uh, I hope you like it. Okay, so Greg wants me to give you a tip. Here's one for me that I think is sort of universal and is timeless, is double and triple check your spelling. This happens to all creative teams. It happens to Kayla and I. I've seen it on posts on LinkedIn and Instagram. Check your spelling. Double check and check it. Look at something like Grammarly as a tool to go through and check your grammar, check your spelling, because the amount of spelling mistakes, if you comb through things slowly every day, they're, they're everywhere and they're every day. So it's always a good look to do that because the thing that really does take away from any impact is if you have a great post, you have great creative, and there's one typo, kind of just lessens the whole experience. So that's my tip, Greg. So pro tip for dealers from NADA show 2023, make sure that your vendors are partners and not actually vendors. Quickest way to do this, start with a checklist that's not generic, Go through and make sure it's actually being done correctly. Don't take their word for it. 20 groups, they're not your best friend. They're coming in with information. That doesn't mean that it's accurate. Go through and check your stuff yourself and make sure you really have a partner and not just a vendor. All right. Talk to your marketing manager or your agency or anything like that. I want you to take nine photos a week. Take two videos a week. Nine photos that are landscape. Two videos that are 30 seconds or less. All you're going to have them do is those nine photos, put them on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, put them on your Google business profile, make sure the file name matches your SEO keywords, and then the videos are attractive about your business and how your people operate within your business and in your store. Do that every single week. Watch it, watch it grow. So starting July 1st, Google Analytics Universal is going away. GA4 uh, is, is the only play for data and measuring data. Not only is this important to make sure that all that's set up correctly, but this is what helps power a lot of your PPC campaigns as Google moves more towards uh, leveraging the algorithm. If you don't have your conversion set up for all your different things, chat, digital retailing, trade appraisal tools, all those kind of um, uh, website add-ons, then you're not gonna be able to power the algorithm. So not only are you gonna lose all your data, but you're not gonna be able to power a lot of things and you're gonna see some significant decreases. The industry needs to catch up on this and the, the clock is ticking. All right, everybody. This year, the big thing to pay attention to is put a lot, all your effort into, well, a lot of your priority into having your, having your dealership build reviews. That's the biggest thing is come up with a plan, try to get at least five reviews per week from your uh, salespeople and find ways to incentivize it. That's the way to make a difference right now. Hi, my quick tip for today is breaking out your service, sales, body shop and parts Google business profiles to optimize for non-branded category search. When you are measuring success on Google My Business, now called Google Business Profiles, you can't measure success based on branded search, right? Google takes care of that for us. Success on Google Business Profiles is winning on non-branded category search, especially around fixed ops, searches such as oil change near me, brake repair near me, tires near me. When dealers win on those non-branded category search, that really becomes local SEO, and that's what I recommend. All right, quick, quick tip for you here. 
if you have 100 cars in stock and you're missing 10, your GM's super upset. He's having you call a website company. But how many of your services do you have in your service department that you're missing pages about, that you're missing pricing about? Why are you not equally as upset about that? And so that's the most important thing is starting to build those things out because people shop options, pricing, or options, information, pricing. So if you do that and you start to build out those pages, you'll see a massive increase on your server side. Thanks so much for sticking around to watch the whole episode. That's definitely all the time we've got left for this week. So you know what that means. Put your hand on the screen right here. We totally just high-fived because you learned something awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week for another episode of Local Search Tuesdays.